Hello, I'm Sandra and you. I'm Immaculate. Okay, so Immaculate, tell us a bit about your artifact. Okay, first of all, I'm Immaculate Wayam Madiba from the Upper East Region of Ghana and I'm a student at the African Science Academy and we brought with us the Smart Hospital Project. So we are students, uh, math and physics students, but we we'll pursue engineering in our universities. And we came together to think of a project which is this engineering concept to help to improve healthcare delivery in Ghana and then Africa at large. So our smart hospital consists of a Medibot and then um, e-pharmacy. The purpose of the Medibot is to deliver health supplies around the hospital. So medical professionals like the doctors and the nurses have time to take care of the patients rather than going around to look for the supplies. And then the e-pharmacy is to dispense drugs, which Mirabel can tell us more about. Please come. Okay, so tell us more about your project. Okay, so um, good good day. My name is Mara Belukaz. I'm from Nigeria, and as you know, Africa, the African Science Academy is a Pan-African school comprised of women who are very dedicated to STEM, and the purpose is to empower women, especially um African women in the field of STEM. So our project is the Smart Hospital. Um, and it consists of the Medibot and the e-pharmacy, specifically the e-drug dispenser. And the purpose for this is to reduce like the workload for healthcare officials. And the e-drug e dispenser distributes and dispenses drugs to healthcare workers, medical um, professionals, as well as patients. And we hope to also apply it in the home setting. That way, um, patients that maybe have a chronic illness that can't be able to attend or go to the hospital as frequently as they would like, they could have this in their homes as well. Okay, so this is wonderful. What does the laptop there do? Is it some kind of programming or anything? Yes, the laptop contains the programming as well as the information stored for the patient. So we use, specifically for the e-drug dispenser, um, we used um, Arduino libraries as well as C++ coding and it helps the entire machine to function. Everything that has to do with how the machine is going to work is all stored into that laptop. Okay, so do you see this as something that could be visualized, something that could be made on a physical ground? Yes, I believe so because in ASA we are taught um, to apply particle solutions and to create particle solutions to worldwide problems. So we created this small hospital with it in mind that people can be able to apply it in future. The entire purpose again is to reduce workload on medical of um, on medical professionals. So we obviously hope to use this in later future, and we see this as very applicable because I believe that technology has reached the stage where this is not an issue. So if I got you right, um, there's C plus plus coding to this thing. So you mean um, your coding is to make this thing work, or uh, is it supposed to heal something or take away some kind of disease? or something. How is that supposed to help in your project? Okay, so we understand that um, when it comes to the hospital, we know that the hospital um, workers, they are really, they are understaffed and they are overworked. So instead of us having a nurse or a doctor or a pharmacist running or trying to get medication for um, a patient, it reduces the it reduces the inefficiency that could happen with it and it makes the process way much more quicker and way much more easier. So instead of um, you going and waiting for Lord knows how long, let's say an hour or so to be able to get your, your medication. You just go get your passcode, put it in and it's done for you. Plus it's like really encrypted. So the possibility of overdose or underdose or making mistakes with the medication is reduced to minimal because a machine is doing it instead of a person. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. We enjoyed your project and we hope to see it actualized in some few years time. Thank you. Thank you.